I brought you a cup of tea. You're not annoyed that I'm keeping you home tonight, are you? No. It's fine. Really? Because I thought if it would be fine that you might be downstairs with us at least. Why can't I go out tonight? I don't want to stay out late. It's my actual birthday tomorrow. I know, but I want to have a little chat with you. You're not going to start talking about the birds and the bees with me, are you? No, nothing like that. Although in some ways that would be an easier talk. Okay. I've had 21 years to prepare for this moment. And now that it's here, it doesn't feel like it's been long enough. I remember when my mother gave me this talk and maybe someday you'll be having this talk with your own daughter. We don't know how or if it's a common thing and people just don't talk about it. But all the women in our family go invisible on their birthdays. Tomorrow and every birthday for the rest of your life, Julia, nobody is going to see you or hear you or feel you or anything you do. So I kind of am a super hero tomorrow. I don't expect you to believe until tomorrow. I know I didn't believe until I drove my mother's car into the garden pond and she didn't even look up. My advice to you is, please don't freak out tomorrow. Do your day as normal. Of course, while being invisible. And stay on the legal side. I will do that, Mark. Okay. It's done, I've said it. Okay. You sure have. Invisible. That was a good one, Mom. Mom! Mom, where are my presents? Good morning. <clears throat> good morning. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna assume you're not doing this to be nasty. Nor will I assume you're not doing this as one big birthday surprise. I'm gonna go to college and I'll see you later. stuff for statistics yet. Not a chance. Couldn't even begin to understand it. Excuse me, could you please... How did you what? even end up doing your course? Dad said it'd be useful. And? I suppose it would be if I knew what I was doing. I'm right here, you know. Masters after it. I don't know, masters aren't for me. Don't think I can handle it. Really? Why? Too much work. I'm not a worker. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, you know, I like to sleep a lot. Yeah, I've seen you in McDonald's last week. Yeah, you're meant to be disabled. You know your sister? She had sex with him at your New Year's Eve party after you passed out. And everyone knows, but you. You know your girlfriend. She even knows. That's probably why she had sex with him. <laughs> How'd you find your way to Black Rock today? Actually, got a boss. <laughs> You know they only laugh at your jokes because your dad's rich and he has big parties with loads of beer. No one likes you. <laughs> Beef food is always better. What are you reading that crap for? Asked a man who's never read a book. Transformers 4 didn't come out in novel form, so I had to go see the film. You remember that girl I was talking to you about? The one from your creative writing class? Yeah. What's her name? Julia. 
Yeah? What about her? Well, she was going on about this book in class, so I thought I'd quickly read it. Give me something to talk about with her. Best birthday ever. It's going to take a while to get used to. Sorry, I couldn't give these to you yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Just something I've got to go and do. <laughs> I'll be back later. <laughs> Have fun. Hey. Hi. You're reading this? Yeah, you um, you um said that. It's good, isn't it? I, I love it, though I'm, I'm not sure I like the uncle character. <laughs> Why not? Well, it seems that he becomes pivotal towards the end, but in the very early chapters, he's underutilized. I mean, like, in chapter two.